Good morning, C3. We are thankful that you are here with us worshiping in person or online. We gather each week to worship in spirit and truth, to be in God's word, to be filled, to be taught, so we can go out into the world. If you are a first time guest with us today, I wanna to invite you to stop in the lobby as you leave at our C3 Central. We would love to get to meet you and help answer any questions that you might have. This Sunday, today is this extra special one as it is our annual baby dedication Sunday. And so I would like to show um, the children that we are dedicating today. actually started last week, we hold a, what we call a parenting commitment class where we have our families come. We had 33 parents um, there last week, and this is a time, um, our probably our favorite part of this whole thing is we invite um, prayer partners to come to that class, and that involves some of our ministers here, some elders, and then just other committed congregation members that come and they're paired intentionally with some of the parents and they spend time getting to know one another and they share the hard things that are going on, the good things that are going on. And then they pray over these young parents. And it, this took about 45 minutes almost this time. It was just beautiful. The spirit was moving. You could just feel it in the room. 
And then um, <clears throat> after the prayer time, Stacy Spickright leads a class um, just really focusing on what biblical parenting really looks like and that empowering our parents that you are Christ's ambassador, that God placed you in this child's life to be the hands and feet of Jesus, to show them, to teach them, and empowering them that they are the authority in the home. And, and then she left them with a challenge that this is just the start of raising your family, this dedication and what does the next step of dedicating look like for you and your home to be with Jesus and in community and on mission? And so then today, as a church, we get to come alongside of them and celebrate. There are 22 children that are being dedicated to the Lord today. And so I'm going to ask those families um, in the service, will you stand where you are with your child? And C3, if you would look around this room or think of a child you saw on the screen that you will intentionally be praying over. And then I want to ask, um, well, I'm going to speak to the parents first, and then I'll ask you to join with me. So parents, today you are stating that you will raise your child to know, love, and serve God. You are committing to be the spiritual leader in your household, that you will seek guidance and truth in your parenting from the word of God and his church. Now I would like to ask our C3 family, as a congregation, will you stand along with these parents? As their church family, we know that they, we don't do things alone in this life. Parenting is fun, but it's really hard. And so this is what they need. We need the body to do this journey together with. So we have a responsive prayer that we are going to say together. I will be the leader, and will you join with me in the congregation? May the blessing of Christ come to your home and to your family. God's blessing is mercy, kindness, and joy. To the children represented today, God is here to bless you. And blessed are you beyond telling to be a part of families who love God, love you, and love each other. Grow gently, children, in the love of God. We bless you and pray Christ be near you now and each hour of your life. Children, God be with you on this day, every day, and every way. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, and with all your strength. As a tiny baby or child, your parents cover and clothe you in their love and with their faith. As you grow, may faith grow with you. May you find the presence of Christ as your clothing and protection. And year by year, may the knowledge of his presence be greater for you, that daily you may put on Christ and walk as his own in the world. Children, we will tell you the praiseworthy deeds of the Lord, his power, and the wonders he has done. Put your trust in God and do not forget his deeds, but keep his commands. He made you and formed you. He will give you understanding to learn from his commands. May the blessing of Christ come to your home and to your family. The word is a lamp to your feet and a light for your path. Blessed are they who keep his statutes and seek him with all their heart. May these children be blessed by the presence, mercy, and grace of the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.